right, so uh, I got into Vegas yesterday and uh, I told like two of my best buddies, hey, I go do the speech, come down, let's like kick it. I've never been to Vegas. Um, and so yeah, I'm doing a speech tonight. But first order of business, it's time to hit the gym. You know, sure? gotta, gotta make time for that. First thing we did is we hit the pool and right away a guy came up to me, fit guy, and he just said, hey man, I've watched your stuff, I love your videos, I'm down like, it's like, uh, 14 kilos or something, he's lean and it's like changed his life and he's able to have time to you know, enjoy life. So it's like that kind of thing feels incredible. I'll just come to some random hotel in a different city and you know someone there has had their whole life changed. What's up Chris? Have you seen Mike? No. Okay, shit, let's go find Mike. And do you, do you mind if we stop by at a coffee shop on the way to the gym? I want to get a coffee. Uh, so I think we're doing different stuff. Chris and I are going to hit some heavy chest and arms. So uh, it should be a fun workout. I, I'm gonna, you can do the weighted chins. I gotta hit the, I'm not gonna hit back. So for the speech tonight that um, I'm doing, what kind of advice do you guys have, Chris? I might. I say just, just do just it. Wing it. Like just wing it, just go up. Yeah, just go up and wing it, yeah. I really think you should talk about the four step keto pickup guy. The four step keto pickup guy. <laughs> Once you, once you get up there, though, you'll get in that flow and you'll feel good. One would hope so. <laughs> One would hope so. Okay, so that's for Mikey? Okay, oh, cool. How the hell this doesn't open, man? Where's the unlock button? Damn it, Chris. Fucking bullshit. How do you unlock this shit? I'm locked in, man. There we go. <laughs> Chris, how many girls do you have in there that you have to like keep them locked in so they can't leave? This is fucking awesome, man. Just down lighting everywhere, too. I'm gonna do a big workout here. I'm hitting a buffet after, so I actually might spend a bit more time at the gym than I'm used to. I might do a lot more. Um, I know a lot of people like to hate on machines, but at the end of the workout, after you've done free weight, it's actually nice. Get the machines in. It's less uh, central nervous system fatigue. You don't have to worry about stabilization. You can just get a lot more volume in. So we'll start with some free weights. And then we'll like do like you know some good free weights and then some machines. I'm either gonna do flat bench or uh, incline dumbbell. They actually I found the 120, so I could do incline dumbbell. Let's just, just uh, we kind of are out of the loop with our workout routine. I really want to do like some chest and arms. You know, Mike Vacanti, he's got to do his other thing, and then Chris just hit chest a couple days ago. So we're all like disorganized on our routines. I honestly think they were just. I think it was just excuse. They just didn't want it, like me to lift a lot heavier than them. Um, I get it, though. You know, I get it. All right, so we're gonna go up to 120s today. This bench is so high. It's like picking it up and getting in place is gonna be brutal. These dumbbells are old school. Let's go, baby. Up. Feeling weak today, man. Oh, so it didn't feel good. I had a few days where I barely slept. A few nights were like three hours. I had a day where I like partied all day. And it hit me today, so I feel fucking weak. I feel fucking weak. And it's fucking like, part of it just fucking pisses me off. And, uh, God damn it. Oh, these feel way better. <sighs> the 
those felt way better. Some people think they're hitting failure and they have no fucking idea how much further they can go if you're willing to push to build that strength. You've been training for a long time and you're pushing yourself, you can break through those barriers. Anyone watching would have thought it have been done two reps ago, but what, how many reps was that? I don't even know. I, I lost count. It was like 10? It was 10 reps. I feel chill, man. I'm just gonna go in and go up and just, you know, just talk. Yeah, and Lasagna robes. Lasagna robes. Sockless, because I forgot my socks, but uh, it's all good. I bought you aggressive fat loss. I you did it? it. Yeah. You're doing aggressive fat loss? Yeah. How's it going? Not too bad. I like it. I really love yeah? it. Yeah? How long has it been? Just a couple of weeks, but I didn't stick to it completely. Yeah. But still seeing results. But yeah. Just like, sick, man. It's crazy to see. I'm very excited, man. Yeah, fuck yeah. Well, I'm about to, I'm about to talk. Man. Yeah, yeah, just talking, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna talk. Yeah. Good to see you, man. How are you? Welcome back. Thank you, man. Thank you. Cheers. I remember being. Uh, what, yeah, what's up? Good to see you, man. Good. 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 I remember being like 15 years old. I watched your American Psycho. Oh, the old. Yeah. Yeah, the old ones. Where you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Glock 9, yeah. So you were a channel. You watched the channel from a long time ago, right? Maybe you can interview. Like, maybe in the beginning you can, like, fucking get that out of me. Like, what do you want me to do? Like, when you introduce me? Be like, okay, you know what? Like, Greg was gonna do like Q and A, but I think you guys would love to hear his story and where he came from. So I feel like we should have a fucking shot right now. You want a shot? Want to do a shot? Let's do a shot. Excuse me. Excuse me. I want two shots of tequila. Or no, do you like tequila? Yeah, I'll take tequila. Whatever, man. Whiskey. Whiskey. Two shots of tequila. Salt. Yeah, salt. Salt, man. Is that? Is that a shot? You know why? Dude, that can't be a shot, man. It's a shot. Dude, she really wants to bang us. Yeah, man, that's what, that's what that means. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's. I, got, I don't know if I can do the whole thing, man. Should we do it? All right, let's do it. 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 Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Ready? Yeah. yeah. It's the real Bruce Wayne, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that was good tequila though for like 12 months. What's the bet? Like, you know what he did the thing? It probably tastes better than you than me. Alright, I'm ready. <laughs> That's all. Tequila that gives you energy, eh? You hear that? Like tequila brings you up. Let's do another one. <laughs> you want to? Oh. Cheers.
That's all I need. You know, I've known Greg for a long time. Greg's like a like, like a little real. Greg's like a brother to me, man. Like uh, when I met him, I met him through a fan. Like my fans were like, "Oh man, you guys have a lot of comedy." To me, I was like, I didn't know who this kid was. He had like only a few thousand subscribers, but I had like maybe like five or ten fans who were like really into him. And I went and checked him out. I'm like, "Oh, this, this kid seems cool." And we had a conversation, and we just kind of hit it off instantly, man. Like it's, he's uh, I don't know, man. Like, he's like a, I really treat. Feels like Greg's like a brother of mine. And, uh, if anybody, anybody fucks with him, they got to answer to me. It's gonna be a problem. I don't know if I can curse in Kino Life. I'm sorry. But if anybody mess with Greg, it's a problem. I just want to put that out there. All the internet trolls, all the vegans, all the haters. If I see you and <laughs> I don't know if I can do it. I can't threaten people on the Kino Life thing. Listen, it's gonna be a problem. You mess with Greg, you just know like when I see you, it's gonna be a problem. I'm not gonna let it slide. He might let it slide. We come from different backgrounds. Uh, but I, I think it's important you guys understand his story because he has videos where he's in the mansion and, and you uh, know people think he's just like some rich kid with privilege. But now, nah, man, he puts in a lot of work. He goes really hard to uh, give, put out a lot of quality content and a lot of good information for people. Well, I've just been into fitness since I was super, super young. I just remember as a kid, I was small, and I just really, really wanted to become more powerful, build muscle. I thought it was absolutely crazy that people didn't want to work out. It blew my mind. Once I was six years old, and I saw my father, um, and he was a strong guy, but like, I had this action figure, and I just wanted to have that power. And I asked my father, like, can I ever look like this? Is it possible? And he said, yes, all you have to do is work out. It just seemed silly to me not to work out. And this is why I'm so passionate about doing my fitness brand is that there's so much misinformation out there. You know, we think it's like getting in shape is like impossible. We have to eat protein, 30 grams of protein every like two hours. Um, we have to like, you know, eat every like every three hours. And there's all these myths. You can't eat like three hours before bed. And there's all these things, oh carbs, you know, carbs make you fat, no fat makes you fat, no fruit makes you fat. And there's, we get so much information like piled onto us, all of which is mostly wrong. You don't have to eat every three hours. You don't have to have like protein every two hours. All that really matters is you're hitting the right amount of nutrition over the course of the day. Set that up in the way that best supports you. Maybe you want to have like two huge meals, a huge lunch, a huge dinner, because you have this massive appetite and you just you would feel miserable if you had to like live off small meals. Or maybe you want to eat like four meals a day. I mean, I'm known as like the intermittent fasting guy because I talk about fasting a lot. But if someone doesn't like fasting and they do fine eating more meals, I will say do that. Find what works best for you. That's pretty much what it comes down to. And the reason I'm so passionate about this is because I followed that crazy model where you're training six days a week, you're doing weights, you're doing intervals, you're doing circuits, you know, you're eating every two to three hours, you can't eat the food you love, you wanna go with your friends, but like you're like, oh no, this is gonna screw up my training or my diet. Life's not fucking enjoyable when all you do is fitness, when all you do is working out. Like Kino Body evolved because I'm like, this stuff should enrich my life. This stuff should enrich my life. All right, so I just finished the talk. It was fun, it's always exciting getting up there and talking in front of like a ton of people. Um, but really like the point of it was really to show these people that getting in shape isn't that crazy. In fact, a lot of the questions I got just proved it's like, you know what, there's so much misinformation. People are making things so damn hard and like, you know what? Most of what you think is right is wrong. And so that's why I do this channel, to show people the actual truth of getting in shape and how much of what they're being told as far as losing fat, building muscle, increasing strength, improving their aesthetics is actually rooted in bullshit. So I'm excited to be able to share all this knowledge with the world. That's why I started this YouTube channel. I want to share what worked for me with you, be able to teach people and inspire people on the journey. That's why I put out every, uh, videos every week and podcasts and blog articles. And so seeing it grow, seeing the people come up to me before the speech, after the speech, here at the hotel, tell me how like, you know, their lives have been changed and how following my tips has made things easier is really like enriching. That's why I do this. So anyways, I'm excited to keep like fucking pushing through, building the channel, because it's my dream to show people this other way to get in shape, which isn't crazy. And it's fucking liberating, you know? So it's like, anyone can do this. Anyone can do this. You know, maybe you're not gonna get to 6% body fat, or maybe you won't be able to bench press 300 pounds, but you can build an amazing physique and one that you're really proud of, 
and fully enjoy the process because this stuff should not take willpower. It shouldn't be this absolute grind. It should be able to be something that you build the habits and now you fucking love it and you stick with it. It doesn't get in the way with your family, your business, or your social life. So that's why I do this channel and that's why you're here.